Hey everyone, Alex here from Computer Headquarters, and this is my fourth video about the Artesian Builds Bankruptcy Auction. Uh, this is the video that's gonna be about the Durham, North Carolina lot. We've previously, um, well, I've recorded but not uploaded yet uh, videos of um, just announcing that I was gonna be bidding on it and how things about the bid, and then uh, hopefully I'll have a video uploading about getting approved, assuming that happens, um, or being a qualified bidder as they call it. And then uh, the video I just recorded a little bit ago was going through all the Oakland pictures, which I think it ended up being like 40 minutes, so that's a pretty long video. This one will probably be around the same if I had to guess. I've already recorded this entire video uh, and started editing it and um, or just listening to it, at least I didn't do the edit, but it, the audio was really messed up because I changed some settings on my OBS that were not working very well with my microphone. I'm also having a little bit of a, I think you call it a hiccuping problem with my microphone. So if you hear my audio going in and out, I don't know what to do to fix it. I've tried looking through it and I can't figure it out. So um, I just need to make these videos and get, the, get them done. So please bear with the audio quality and give me a break if you can. Um, in any case, the point of this video and the, the Oakland video I did was to show you guys someone, you know, kind of putting yourself in my shoes, someone that's actually willing to bid on this, where I see value, what I'm looking for, what's the purpose of digging through the pictures, and that the real reason to dig through the pictures is because they give us a manifest that's saying everything that we're bidding on, but it's actually not everything because if there is a um, you know, a, a pen on a desk, I've said this in the Oakland video, but if there's a pen on the desk and it's in the pictures, then it's included in the auction, even if it's on the manifest. So um, there's a lot of stuff that's not on the manifest that has value. And to be the most competitive bidder, you need to pay attention to everything. And if the other guy you're bidding against found, like, found $10,000 worth of extra stuff, he's going to bid $10,000 higher than you. And you're going to have a disadvantage, right? If you're bidding. So um, I want to be have the most advantage as possible in my bidding process and also not uh, avoid pitfalls if there are any problems. Anyway, uh, let's start going through these pictures and I'll give you kind of just my thoughts out loud of what I'm looking for and the notes I would be writing down uh, as I collect information to make my bid. So um, this is just a bunch of boxes which I would not put any value on. Um, power supply is okay, those are on the manifest, those are the inventory sheet. Uh, these are codex cases from MSI. These are on the inventory sheet. These actually are bare bones. So there is a case, there's a motherboard and a power supply in each one of these boxes. And there are 64 of those. So that's great. Um, and then we'll keep going. Bunch of uh, Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic XLs and other 011 Dynamic family cases, as well as other just Lee and Lee cases over here. Um, and a couple of uh, pallet jacks. One is a long fork version. Uh, here's a Cosmos C700M case. That's like a $400 case. There were two of those at the Oakland facility. There are a couple as a pyramid cases. There were, I think, 12 or more of those at the Oakland facility um, and some other, you know, tough GT501s and some other 011 Dynamics. The, the, all this stuff should be on the manifest. So nothing too special here. Um, I don't know why they're so infatuated with this ramp. I, I could care less about it. They had like four pictures of it. Um, this is a pallet, a long pallet. I don't know why they move. They move some of the stuff around these pictures on different pictures. And I really dislike that because as someone that's trying to bid on this and understand what you're bidding on, if you look at one picture where the bot, like this box, three, seven, one, five, six, six is right here. And then you see three, the same picture, like uh, another picture and the same box is like, say up on the shelf. It's very frustrating trying to keep track of all the things that you're trying to find that were not listed in the inventory. So. With that being said, um, anytime you see a box that has a sticker on the outside like this that says a number, uh, that usually means it was a customer order. It's a build in progress. Um, so you can see this whole shelf is filled with them. And if you look at the manifest, there's actually not, not one mention anywhere of a build that's in progress. The Oakland lot, they do say partially completed systems or something of that nature. The Durham lot does not mention it at all. However, there are tons of these computer systems that are either in a box or out of a box, things of that nature. And there's a lot of value not represented on the manifest that you have, that I definitely have to be paying attention to. So um, for instance, on this box right here, you can see there's an EVJ power supply right there on top. If you zoom in right here, you can see this is an this is a video card box. You can see that's a black box with green uh, stri uh, logo stuff there. So that's probably an RTX series box. 
And then up here, this box, when we get another angle of it later, there's definitely a video card on top of there as well. And then all these boxes are flipped up. They could have parts or maybe they're empty. Um, more pallet jack pictures, more case pictures, lots of packaging boxes. This is all boring stuff, nothing important here. Um, they have lots of carts and packaging equipment. These are the same boxes and I mentioned you could see a video card. So here's that video card. Um, and this is actually a different box, isn't it? So I'm not gonna get go back to the pit through the pictures, but this is a different angle. I think we could only see this box in the other picture, but yeah, there's an EVGA video card poking out right there. Um, keep going, more packaging boxes, empty boxes, more boring stuff, more boring stuff, more boring stuff. Uh, here, this shelf is something we saw earlier with a bunch of the uh, builds in progress. And there's another shelf next to it. And look, we can see an RTX, I think it's a 3070 Ti. Um, sitting on top of there, we can see an 850 watt power supply there. And we can't really see very much else, but we can see there's a couple more builds over here on the side as well. And there are a couple bins with parts. So Corsair AIO, a tough motherboard, uh, Ryujin, I think two, 360 millimeter water cooler. That's really expensive. Um, and some other parts inside of that bin. So a lot of good value right here. None of this was on the manifest. Um, more stuff that I don't know. More pictures of the ramp for some reason. Okay, they've got a lot of these uh, tables or um, workbenches. These are really nice. These are Uline brand, as you can see if you zoom in here. Uline stuff is really sturdy. It's really high end and it's really expensive. Uh, yeah, I think the normal person would see this tabletop and go like, oh, it's all scratched up. It's junk, it's trash. But um, I actually really like these. We use these. so. Um, this is a table that will last a really long time, despite looking worn. And uh, I'm really excited to, to get these tables if I win. Um, also, there are a lot of these sealed air Instapack things, and we use these like crazy in our build. So this, these are really expensive. Uh, this These boxes would probably be $100 per box if I had to guess somewhere in that ballpark. So um, some free money right there. And more. Oh, this is the same two boxes, actually. Um, here's more of them right here in this plastic bin, and then this table has a lot more sealed air bags as well. So they're probably, if I had to guess, there's probably a thousand dollars worth of sealed air bags that we'll see in all these pictures. Uh, but this is another table. There are a lot of chairs that we'll see too, but this location didn't have fancy chairs. We'll probably give away all these chairs for free. Um, more tabletop stuff, more packaging supplies. So you can see one, two, three of these uh, tables that I like. Okay, here's an 011 dynamic case with parts on top. We'll see the parts later, but you can snipe a picture here, uh, zoom in here of a 3090 and I think a 3080 and some other stuff we'll see at a different angle in a minute. Um, nothing here. So here's that same box. So uh, we see 3090 and then here, I think that says 3080. We can't read this one, but it's another video card, a 4TB hard drive. Uh, an ROG Strix 3080, an ROG motherboard, a Z590 Plus motherboard, and a 1200 watt Thermaltake ARGB uh, power supply. So this is a lot of money in parts. I mean, there's probably, you know, like uh, one, two, three, four thousand dollars worth of parts just right there, assuming those boxes aren't empty. Um, and then up here, there's a build. We'll get a better view of this build in a minute. Um, and there's another build next to it. These are both 011 dynamic builds that are fully complete systems ready to go. There's another build down here that's not complete, um, but we get a better angle of that in a minute. Bunch of parts, um, this whole area, we can't really tell what all is in here in these plastic bins, but you can see there's a motherboard box here. This Ryzen box is an empty box. There's no CPU in there, but I'm guessing the CPU that was from this box is somewhere in a motherboard in this area. Just my guess. Here's the same systems we saw earlier from a different angle. Some fold up tables. Um, here's that box we saw earlier, 011 Dynamic, but we can see the parts on top now. So that looks like there's an ROG um, liquid cooler. There is a Prime X570 Pro motherboard, and I would just assume probably like a power supply and uh, probably some like RAM or SSD stuff on top of there as well. Um, and that's about it for this picture. Some plastic pallets. I don't know what this box is. Uh, some more stuff going on here. I don't think there's anything of value in this picture. Nope. Uh, okay, pallet jack again, nothing important here. There are a lot of these plastic bin things, um, and they seem pretty nice, so I'm sure I'll find a use for them if I win. Uh, 011 dynamic case, this looks like a, a work in progress, and you can see this, if you really zoom in here, there's a sticker here, so that's a build. 
Um, I think these are both builds right here that have parts on top. That's my guess. And if you zoom way back in here, you can see more parts on top of that table. And I think we get an angle of that later. And then in this corner, you can see there's more parts back there too. Um, so it's hard to say. I told you I'd get a better angle of these builds earlier, and here it is. So ROG motherboard, EVGA power supply, full video card, and an Elgato um, video capture card. And then same thing over here. Uh, full video card, ROG motherboard, EVGA power supply, does not have the Elgato. Um, and then down below, it has a motherboard, no video card, and a power supply. So three uh, fairly finished builds, lots of value right there. We don't know what the video cards are, but do your math. If it's an 011 case, an ROG motherboard, and an EVGA power supply, this is probably a 3080 or better. That's that's just my assumption there. So it could be a lot of value there. Um, here's how I know that that Ryzen CPU box is empty. Um, okay, here's where things get even more juicy. Uh, this rack right here represents a lot of value, as well as the rack that's behind it. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six builds that are all complete with video cards up top and then there are four more on the bottom you can only see one right now but we're gonna get another angle in a second here it is so one two three four on the bottom and these top six in this this uh, computer right here they're all pretty nice looking builds um, fully complete with video cards but more importantly these three builds are all 011 dynamic builds they all have what appears to be video cards and like I said earlier, when you see an 011 dynamic case, it's an expensive case. And when you start seeing things like um, ROG motherboard, uh, you can see QL fans here. You start to know that this is gonna be a pretty expensive computer. Now, one thing that I am curious about is, are they showing me the same systems twice in different pictures, but in different locations? I hope they're not doing that. It's really hard to tell, but see how this has a blue sleeve cable going to the video card? Toward the end of this, we're going to see another computer case with an, a sleeved uh, blue, um, sorry, losing my train of thought, uh, a sleeved, a blue sleeved uh, power cable going to the video card. But I think this is a different video card. I could be wrong. We'll find out. Remember this for a little bit later. Uh, here's a cart that has some systems on top. These are all complete with video card. There are three we know, sorry, they're not all complete with video card. This one's missing a video card. This one has the video card. This one has a video card. We don't know any. We don't know if this uh, is just a case or if it has parts because we'll never get a better angle of it. Um, also, I really like this system they have where they have this like pull sheet and you pull these stickers and they're they're for build. So I, I believe you pull that and in the computer system they probably tell you what parts you need to do or you need to pull. Um, so that's I kind of like this. It's something maybe I'd consider adopting for my business. Um, top of this shelf, we've got a 1660 and a 1650. Sorry, I did that by accident. Um, yeah, so 1660, 1650, and maybe another video card. None of that stuff is on the inventory sheet. Four or no, five builds down below, and I believe all of these have video cards as well. So 15 builds between these two shelves that are not on the manifest. Uh, four monitors that look pretty nice, LG monitors, and this is like a test station. For setting up the computers before they ship them out i believe i i think these are all corsair fans um this is just junk these are all brand new uh, intel cpus in a cage and i think memory down below these are all brand new intel cpus these are all 10 100 f cpus you can see right there 10 100 f or you could just google this step code right there and it will tell you it's a 10 100 f i've already done that Bunch of motherboards, nothing too special, except maybe some ROGs down there at the bottom. Um, there's a Maximus 13Z690 Apex. That's like a $700 motherboard right there. That's, I think, the best motherboard in the whole warehouse. So this warehouse had a lot more, I would say, basic builds compared to the Oakland facility. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of these systems are still really expensive and really high-end. They're just not as crazy as what they were doing over at the Oakland facility. Um, and I think this video is just a bunch of motherboards. Yep, waste of time. Keep rolling through all these. Nothing here is important. Bunch of AIOs now. Um, some Noctua fans, heatsink fans, some uh, Vitro branded, and some Be Quiet Dark Rock Force. Uh, Ryugen 2240, that's really expensive. There are a few of these, I believe, and I think there's some 360s here. Yeah, these are really nice. If it's Ryugen, it's expensive, and if it's Ryugen 2, even more expensive. Um, so more of those boxes, bunch and bunch, bunch, bunch of RAM. 
There's so much RAM. It's great. It's where a lot of the money on my offer is going to be coming from. Um, so all of these, I think I counted, it's about 20 uh, packs per plastic bin like this. So this is probably 20, 40, 60, 80. That's not full though, but probably 60 right here at least. Uh, and then you can see there's a lot more RAM down below. But then more importantly are these boxes right here. So I think it's something like 16 sticks they have per tray. And I'm just saying that because you see 16 right here. Um, or I could be wrong. You know what? It does say 16 GB x 3200 so it's probably 3200 megahertz 16 gb and who, who knows how many are per box but usually i think it's 25 sticks per tray if these are full and there are 20 boxes uh there's potentially you know 400 plus sticks of rgb probably um it's probably 8 gig sticks but it could be 16 gig sticks i don't know there could be this stuff i don't think is manifested correctly there could be thousands of dollars of extra ram here um that or it could be empty boxes right who knows um, just videos of them showing RAM. So there are a lot of these PNY RAM boxes as well. Up top, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine boxes of PNY RAM. Uh, I'm not sure if it says anywhere how many sticks are per box, but it looks like it's a lot. And there is a lot of RAM on the inventory, but I think there's more than what they said. Uh, there's a bunch of AIOs, another view of the RAM shelf, more motherboard shelf pictures, more We've seen all that stuff before. There, is, there are a couple of builds in the background here, it looks like. Uh, you can see the artesian tape on these, so these boxes were open at some point. They could just be using the boxes as storage for other stuff, it's pretty hard to tell. Um, and there's some people in the background. Uh, also, if you look at this picture, there's another build back here. You can see a red box, or ROG, and a yellow box, probably a Corsair AIO. So, it's sometimes it's hard to tell if it's stuff we've seen somewhere else and they were moving it around. Um, okay, we got a bunch of video cards coming up here. There we go. So some of these video cards are manifested correctly. Like most of this whole rack is manifested correctly. So there are like 2060s, 3060s, 1660 Ti's, uh, 1650s. Um, there's this one Toxic 6900 XT. It's a liquid cooled card. That's pretty cool. But then this cage right here, I, I believe everything in this cage it did not get manifested for some reason. So I think it's something like 14 gigabyte 3070 Ti's. Um, some EVJ 3060 Ti's and a 38, a Zotac 3080 Ti and a Gigabyte Vision 3060 Ti. Uh, next picture shows, we, these are all manifested. These are four Zotac 3080's. And then this is also not manifest. Seven EVJ RTX 3070 FTW3 cards. So it's, again, you gotta pay attention when you're looking at bids and the pictures, right? Cause it's a lot of money sitting there that wasn't manifested. That might be another five grand worth of stuff that you could miss if you're not paying attention. So here's some builds that are partially completed. And I think this is a lot of like internal use stuff. If I had to guess, I think those employees were using those computers for work. We'll see those in a second here. Um, bunch of SSDs, bunch of hard drives, more SSDs, more SSDs. Uh, this is a little bit depressing. So these are all this bin, this bin, and this bin are all Corsair QL series fans. And I was really hoping that these were gonna be brand new in the box so that we could sell them individually because they go for like $40 per fan, but they're not. So that definitely loses some value. Um, but we'll of course use them in some way or foremost, or, or we will sell them as used and someone will get brand new fans that just don't have the box and get a good deal. Deep cool fans, NZXT fans, uh, another, angle of all those fans we just saw. So two builds on top of this table. This one looks fully complete, video card, motherboard. Um, I feel like when you see these big antennas on the back, it's usually likely it was used as a system they use inside the building for internal use, company computer. Um, that's just my guess. This looks like an empty case. Um, but there are lots of tables that could move up and down, nice tables all over the place. Um, and there are some toolboxes back here. I'll be interested to see what, if I win, what kind of tools are coming quote unquote for free because they're, that would kind of just be free stuff. Codex box here, some sort of NZXT case right there. Uh, you can, we saw this earlier, but there are some parts on top of that table. And this is that case we just saw a minute ago. That's an NZXT case. It has a Fantex power supply, but no motherboard. And then again, those toolboxes back there. 
Here's the kitchen. They've got some, uh, this is the important part of the video, guys. We got some ibuprofen, it appears. Uh, we got some body armor drinks. We got some uh, Vita Coco coconut water and a screwdriver. Interesting. Um, I think I skipped a picture. Oh, it's a video. Let's see what this video is all about. Not a great video. Okay, skip it. Um, this is, I think, an office of one of the managers. And it looks like they probably threw a bunch of stuff on top of it. But it's pretty messy. Walkie talkies and a bunch of it looks like garbage to me, mostly. Um, here's the same desk we saw earlier. Nothing special here. Okay, here's some systems I said I think might be it might have been internal use computers. No video cards. Um, I'm guessing they're just using Intel graphics or AMD graphics. If it was integrated graphics available. And uh, a monitor down there below. We saw this computer earlier. And this is confusing to me because earlier there was a white 011 dynamic on top of this table above this one and it was fully complete, but look, it's gone. Again, frustrating when they move things around in the middle of taking the pictures. You should take the pictures and pack up later, um, but whatever, that's what we'll have to deal with. We've seen these before um, and we have not seen these before. Okay, so these are three complete builds. Look, video card, video card, video card. Uh, these look like nice systems. So. It'll be interesting to see what's in there. We've seen all of these before, and we have not seen these before, I don't think. So I, I mentioned at the tour the beginning that there was a blue sleeved cable build. Um, so that's where we're gonna wonder if they pulled stuff off the shelf, if these were pulled off of a shelf in pictures we saw earlier and now displayed again separately. So I don't think we've seen this one before. There's no video card, it's got a Ryujin too. So there's a lot of expensive parts, nine QL fans, um, Ryujin 2 CPU cooler, and it's an 011 dynamic. Um, here is something with probably, maybe that's an NZXT um, AIO and an RTX video card. It looks like a complete build. And here's the sleeved cable guy. So I hope this isn't the same build we saw earlier. This also has what appears to be nine QL series fans, the Ryujin 2 CPU cooler, and a full RTX video card. But you can see those blue sleeved cables. So hopefully they didn't pull that off the shelf and take more pictures of it. Um, but either way, it, whether I double counted it or not for my value, um, it's just nice to have stuff, more good stuff basically, right? Um, but the rest of the pictures I think are all boring. And the only other thing worth noting is that there's an area that you can only see in a video at one point, And it's a bunch of cases all stacked against a wall that are open. You can see they the tops are all open. So they could be like 10 or 20 builds that are completed or it could be 10 or 20 empty boxes. Really hard to say, but I think we're pretty much done with the video. Um, here are more of those builds we saw earlier at a different angle. Here are more of those builds at a different angle again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure we're at the end of the video. Yeah, okay. So thanks for joining me. This was what, oh, I did this a lot faster than last time I recorded it. It's only 25 minutes this time. I think it was 35 or 40 minutes last time I tried doing this video with the bad audio. So um, I hope you guys like this. Wish me luck on the bid. Um, hopefully I win and I come back with a video about winning the bid. Or if I if I lose, I'll probably still come back and just announce that I didn't win um, and explain what the bidding was like. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.